This question deals with binomial expansion, but it has a little bit of a twist. What we usually do when we have an expansion of 1 plus x to the power n and x is a natural number that is known, then the binomial expansion would be 1 plus nc1 x to the power 1, nc2 x to the power 2 and on and on. But what happens when we have n that is unknown, then in that case, instead of nc1, we write n. So we write n over here. Instead of nc2, we write n. n minus 1, 2 factorial, that means 2 times 1. Since in this particular question, the n is unknown and we have to find the n, we have to use this rule where instead of nc1 we write n and instead of nc2 we write n n minus 1 2 into 1 so that is the thing that is a bit different so what we have to do over here is first of all we have this expansion 1 plus bx to the power n so 1 plus bx to the power n and this is 1 plus so instead of nc1 we're going to write n and instead of x since we have a coefficient of x we write bx whole to the power 1 plus the next one is going to be nc2 so instead of nc2 we write n n minus 1 2 into 1 so this is what we have and instead of uh, x we have bx so this would be bx whole squared so let's simplify this so this is going to be 1 plus uh, nbx plus and this is going to be n n minus 1 2 into 1 is 2 and this is going to be b squared x squared plus on and on now if you see they have already given us the expansion the expansion of this is this so that means we can compare the coefficient of this so coefficient of uh, x is 12 and the coefficient of x squared is 70 now in question number a we have to show that nb equals to 12 so what we do over here we can write for x so here in, in x we have nb and the given question is 12x so the coefficient is 12 so this is shown that's what we have the next particular question in question number b we have to find the values of b and n but for that we have to compare x squared so for x squared so what we have is here we have n n minus 1 by 2 into b squared that's what we have with x squared and in the question that is given is 70 so this is equals to 70 so if we have to solve the two equations so what we can write over here we can write uh, this to be equation 1 and we can write this to be equation 2 so what we can do is we can substitute the value so what we can do so so we can write n n minus 1 into 2 and instead of b we can write b equals to 12 by n because if you send the n to the other side it becomes 12 by n instead of b we are writing 12 by n and we have a whole square and this is equals to 70 so let's try to solve this so what we have is we have n n minus 1 by 2 then we have 12 square which is 144 divided by n squared equals to 70 and if we simplify this this particular n and this particular n this two n cancels and upstairs we have and this two and this cancel this becomes two seven to 14 two to the four so 72 so we have 72 n minus 1 and if we send this n to the other side it becomes 70 n so multiply so 72 into n minus 72 equals to 70 n so if you write 72 minus 70 n it becomes twice n and this becomes 72 therefore n equals to 72 divided by 2 so 2 3 is a 6 12 so n equals to 36 we found the value of n so now we can find the value of b so since b equals to so since b equals to 12 divided by n and n is 36 we can write 12 on the 12 12 3 is 36 this is 1 by 3 
that means n equals to 36 and b equals to 1 by 3 question number 9 is summation and by looking at the type of summation we can know that this is an arithmetic series summation and arithmetic series summation is usually a linear expression so what this is is we have summation of r equals to 1 to 20 3 plus 5 r so by looking at this summation you would know this is an arithmetic series summation and what summation uh, really deals with is if you have a summation of r equals to 1 to n and you have some expression u r it means if you unpack the summation if you put r equals to 1 that would be the first term second term third term and on and on and you could check by the common definition common uh, difference rule is that the next term and the previous term whether they match or not and of course they would match and you would know that it is uh, an arithmetic series and what this basically means is this is sum of n terms as you remember the sum of n terms is n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 common difference so that's the sum of n terms and that's what we have to do and if r equals to not uh, 1 but something else we have to adjust the value of n but here since it is r equals to 1 we don't have to worry about that so what this turns out to be is the first term u1 if you put r equals to 1 3 plus 5 is 8 if you put r equals to 2 it would be 3 plus 5 to the 10 and this turns out to be 13 if you put r equals to 3 5 3 is a 15 plus 3 is 18 and on and on so you have this unpacked and by looking at it you know the first term is 8 so the first term is 8 and the difference common difference 13 minus 8 is going to be 5 you can also check with 18 minus 13 that is also 5 so therefore this is going to be sum of 20 terms r equals to 1 to 20 is 20 so this is going to be n by 2 so 20 by 2 twice a the first term is this one 8 plus n minus 1 20 minus 1 is 19 and the common difference is the difference 13 minus 8 which is going to be uh, 5 so if we calculate this 20 by 2 is 10 2 into 8 is 16 and 19 into 5 is uh, 45 5 ones are 5 plus 4 95 and if we calculate this it turns out to be 16 plus 95 multiplied by 10 and 1110 1110 just like before we knew that if it is a summation with a linear form of an expression its arithmetic series so if you have a summation with something that has an exponent it is a GP series so that's a rule of thumb that you need to remember so that means if you have a summation of uh, e something like some constant to the power r suppose you have k to the power r so it is usually a GP series you can also check what it turns out to be it turns out to be if you put uh, suppose r equals to 1 to n if you put r equals to 1 it is k to the power 1 the next term is r equals to 2 k square k cubed and it goes on like that and if you check by the rule of common ratio it turns out to be u2 by u1 should be equal to u3 by u2 and on and on so that means k square by k is k k cube by uh, k square is also k so that's how it works so if you want to find this r equals to 1 to n that is going to be s n and depending whether it is divergent or convergent uh, we are going to have sum of n terms if it is divergent meaning the absolute value of r is more than 1 it is going to be a times first term times r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so that is the rule for divergent meaning the value absolute value of r is more than 1 so this is how it works so let's see how this question goes so the first thing that we have is r is not equals to 1 r equals to 0 that's a bit strange and we don't have n over here we have the term symbol infinity that means sum to infinity so let's let's see how it goes 
so r equals to 0 and infinity and this is a by 4 to the power r and we also know the value it is 16 let's unwrap this let's see how it goes if you put r equals to 0 it becomes a by 4 to the power 0 plus if you put r equals to 1 it becomes a by 4 to the power 1 and if you put r equals to 2 it goes on and on like this so let's uh, forget about this summation let's write down the let's focus on the unpacked version so it becomes a plus a by 4 plus a by 4 square plus a by 4 cube and on and on so if we take a common it turns out to be 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 squared plus 1 by 4 cubed and on and on so we have to find the sum of this term that goes on and on forever and that rule is known as the sum to infinity so when you have a convergent GP series this was divergent if you have a convergent GP series so the sum of n terms would be a 1 minus r to the power n 1 minus r but here we have sum to infinity so we can have a sum to infinity and the rule is a by 1 minus r this 1 minus r to the power n terms disappear so since this is if you check the common ratio over here the common ratio would be r equals to 1 by 4 divided by 1 1 by 4 by 1 equals to 1 by 4 square divided by 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 square divided by 1 by 4 and it turns out to be 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 4 everything is 1 by 4 so this is GP and the first term is 1 and the common ratio R equals to 1 by 4 so plug in the value so what it turns out to be is A into A is 1 1 minus I'm using the sum to infinity rule 1 minus 1 by R which is 1 by 4 so that is A 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 and that is a 4 by 3 that is 4 a by 3 so we have the value of the summation 4 a by 3 now what we know is the whole thing is equals to 16 so we can write so 4 a by 3 equals to 16 therefore 4 a equals to 16 into 3 therefore a equals to 16 into 3 by 4 this cancels off so a equals to 12 